This is teacher Riza and this is our lesson 3 for week 2 in statistics and probability. Compute the probabilities of a random variable. With learning competency, computes probabilities corresponding to a given random variable. Properties of discrete random variables a discrete random variable is defined by its probability distribution function that is the possible outcome of an experiment and the probability of each outcome. For the outcome of an experiment, we have x sub 1 to x sub n and the probability of each outcome is the p of x is equal to x sub 1 to x sub n wherein the sum of the probabilities of a discrete random variable is always equal to 1. Example of discrete probability distribution. The range of x is 1, 3, 4, 5, and 10. And getting the sum of this probability, add the probability of x is equal to 1, which is 0 0.3, plus the probability of x is equal to 3, which is 0 0.2, and the probability of x is equal to 4, which is 0 0.1, plus the probability of x is equal to 5, which is 0 0.15, plus p of x is equal to 10 is 0 0.25, and the sum is equal to 1. Binomial distribution is a probability distribution with only two possible outcomes, and that is success and failure. So we let P the probability of success and Q is the probability of failure and N is the number of trials. And the binomial distribution is the probability of X is equal to combination of N and X times the probability of success P raised to X times the probability of failure Q raised to N minus X. The probability mass function of a binomial distribution is given by x, which is success and failure, and the probability of x, which is p and q, wherein the sum of p and q is equal to 1 from the properties of discrete variable. Example, consider tossing a six-sided die three times. Determine the probability that 4 will turn up 1, 0 times, 2, once, 3, twice, and 4, thrice. So we let P the probability that 4 will turn up, and that is P is equal to 1 over 6. That is only 1, 4 out of 6 possible outcomes. And Q is the probability that 4 fields turn up, so that is Q is equal to 5 over 6. And N is equal to 3 tosses. So from the combination formula, a combination is a grouping or subsets of items. That is, N is the number of items in set, and R is the number of items selected from the sets. So we have the combination of n to r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. But we're going to use n or combination of n to x is equal to n factorial. Instead of using r, we're going to use x. So that is n factorial over x factorial times n minus 1 factorial. So using this combination formula, for getting 4 at 0 times, so x is equal to 0 and n is equal to 3, p that is success is 1, 6, q where in failure is 5 over 6. So we have the combination of thread 0, so we have n is 3 factorial over 0 factorial which is the value of x times n minus 1 that is 3 minus 0 and 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 and 3 minus 0 is still 3 that is 3 times 2 times 1 so we have 
equal to 1. So using now the binomial distribution that is p of x equal to combination of n to x times p raised to x times q raised to n minus x we're in combination of 3 as 0 is equal to 1 so we're going now to substitute that so we have 1 and p is 1 over 6 raised to x is 0 times q is 5 over 6 raised to n which is 3 minus x is equal to 0. 1 over 6 raised to 0 is equal to 1 and 3 minus 1 is 3 so we have 5 cubed is equal to 125 and 6 cubed is equal to 216. So therefore we have now the probability at 0 times is 125 over 216. For getting 4 ones so x is equal to 1 and still n is equal to 3 and p is 1 6 q is 5 over 6 so the combination of 3 at 1 is 3 factorial over 1 factorial times 3 minus 1 factorial we're in 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 so we have 2 times 1 so we have now the combination of 3 at 1 is equal to 3 Using now the binomial distribution, so substitute the value of 3 combination of 1 and that is equal to 3 and substitute the value of p which is 1 6 raised to x which is 1 and the value of q is 5 over 6 raised to n which is 3 minus x which is 1 and 1 6 raised to 1 is equal to 1 6 then 5 cubed is equal to 25 and 6 cubed is equal to 36. So 3 times 25, that's equal to 75 and 6 times 36 is equal to 216. So therefore, the probability of getting 4 ones is 75 over 216. For number 3 is the probability of getting 4 twice. So x is equal to 2. So using the combination formula, so we have 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 minus 2 factorial. So that is equal to 3. So substitute now the value of combination of 3 at 2. So that is 3 times the value of p which is 1 6 raised to x which is 2 and the value of q which is 5 over 6 raised to n which is 3 minus x is 2. So that is 1 over 6 raised to 2 is equal to 1 over 36 and that is 5 6 raised to 3 minus 2 is equal to 5 over 6. Multiplying 3 times 5 so we have 15 and 36 times 6 is equal to 216. So the probability of getting 4 twice is 15 over 216. Twice. Twice. Then for number 4 is thrice. So x here is equal to 3. So the combination for 3. We have 3 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 minus 3 factorial so that is equal to 1 so we have here the combination is equal to 1 so substitute from the combination of x so that is 1 and the, combi and the probability of success is 1 6 raised to x is 3 times the probability of failure is 5 over 6 the n is 3 minus x is 3 so we have 1 over 6 raised to 3 is 1 over 216. And this is equal to, and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So 5 over 6 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So multiplying this, so we have 1 over 216. So the probability of getting 4 tries is 1 over 216. And getting the sum of all these probabilities, 
for 0 we have 125 over 216 getting 175 200 over 216 and getting 4 try twice is 15 over 216 and getting 4 thrice is 1 over 216 so that is 216 over 216 is equal to 1 and that is the properties of discrete random variable wherein the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. Example number 2. A basketball team has to play three games during the elimination round of tournament. What is the probability that they will win? Zero game, one game, two games, and all three games. So given in the problem, we have P is the probability of winning the game. So there are two possible outcomes only that is either win or loss. So that is the probability of winning is 1 over 12. That is for success. And the probability of losing, which is failure, Q is equal to 1 half. And N is equal to 3 because we have 3 games. So the probability for 0 game, X is equal to 0. P is equal to 1 half and Q is equal to 1 half. So getting the combination at 0 came, so that is 3 factorial, the value of N and the value of X is 0, then 3 minus 0, which is equal to 1. To find for the binomial distribution, so we have P at 0, we're in the combination at 0 is equal to 1, then P is equal to 1 half raised to 0 is equal to 1, and Q is 1 half raised to 3 minus 0, and that is 1 half cube is equal to 1 eight. So multiplying this, so we have 1 over 8. Then for 1 game, so therefore X here is equal to 1, so let's try to find the combination at 1 game. So that is 3 factorial over 1 factorial times 3 minus 1 factorial, which is equal to 3. And using the binomial distribution, so we're going now to substitute the value of P, which is 1 half, raised to X, which is 1, times Q is, which is 1 half, raised to N, which is 3 minus 1. And the combination of 1 is 3, 1 half raised to 1 is 1 half, and 1 half raised to 3 minus 1 which is 2 so that is 1 fourth so multiplying 3 times 1 half times 1 fourth is equal to 3 over 8 so therefore the probability for one game is 3 over 8 and then for two games so we have x is equal to 2 so let's try to find the combination for two games so that is combination of 3 at 2 so that is 3 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 minus 2 factorial is equal to 3. Then for the binomial distribution, we're going to substitute the value of p which is 1 half raised to 2 which is the value of x times 1 half for the value of q raised to n which is 3 minus x which is the value of 2. Then for combination of two games so we have three and one half raised to two is one fourth and one half raised to three minus one which is three minus two is one that is one half raised to one is still one half so three times one fourth times one half is equal to three over eight so for two games so we have the, prob the probability is three over eight okay for three games so we have x is equal to three so that is the combination of three games. So that's three factorial over three factorial times three minus three factorial is equal to one. And using the binomial distribution, so substitute the value of p, which is one half raised to x, which is three times q is one half raised to n, which is three, and the value of x is also three. And the combination of 3 is equal to 1, 1 half raised to third power is equal to 1, 8. And 1 half raised to 3 minus 3, which is equal to 0. And 1 half raised to 0 is equal to 1. So we have now 1, 8. So therefore, the probability for 3 games is 1 over 8. To find out the sum of the probability 
for the zero game we have one eight for one game is three eight for two games is three eight and for three games is equal to one eight so the sum is equal to eight over eight or equal to one number three find five friends attended the volleyball varsity teams tryouts what is the probability that only three of them will selected if p is for success which is equal to 60 percent and p is failure is 40 percent for each of them so given we have the success the probability of success is 60 percent or that is 0 0.6 and the probability of failure is 40 percent or that is 0 0.4 and n is equal to 5 and x is equal to 3 because only 3 of them will be selected. So we have given is n 5 x equal to 3 p is 0 0.6 and q is 0 0.4. Let's try to find the combination of 5 4 3. So that's 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial. Where in 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, 1. And 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So that's 2 times 1. And for 3 factorial, we have 3 times 2 times 1. And this is equal to 5 times 4 is 20. Over 2 is equal to 10. Then, substituting this for the given formula of binomial distribution, that is... 5 combination of 3 is 10 and probability of success is 0 0.6 raised to x which is 3 and the probability of failure is 0 0.4 raised to n which is 5 minus 3. 0 0.6 cube is equal to 0 0.216 and 0 0.4 raised to 5 minus 3 which is 2 so 0 0.4 squared is equal, is equal to 0 0.16. 10 times 0 0.216 times 0 0.16 is equal to 0 0.3456 or that is 34.56%. So therefore, the probability that only 3 of them will be selected is 34.56%. <clears throat> then for your activity, you're going to find the probability that in tossing a balanced coin 3 times, no head, one head, two heads, and three heads will appear. Then for number two, the wheel on the TV program Wheel of Fortune is first divided equally into 24 compartments with one labeled loose a turn. Find the probability that the wheel stops a loose a turn for each of the following. Letter A, a single spin. Letter B, success, two successive spins. And C, three successive spins. For number three, the probability that the patient recovers from a rare daily disease is 40% and failure to recover is 60%. If 15 people have contracted this disease, what is the probability that A, 5 will survive, B, 8 will survive, and C, 12 will survive? And for your reflection, what lesson have you learned from this topic? And that's all. So let me share again this quotation according to Joseph, Joseph Mercado. The probability of your possibility depends on your level of positivity. Again, thank you for watching. This is Teacher Riza. Always saying, stay healthy, stay safe, and please stay at home. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Thank you.